Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. We're outside today in the wind. Uh, there's a lot of wind out here. We're kind of battling the elements. Uh, we've got utility irons today, new from TaylorMade, the Sim UDI and the Sim DHY. A couple of brand new models. They're packed with that TaylorMade punch, right? That speed foam technology in there. Um, what makes, really, you think of distance, you think of TaylorMade. And so TaylorMade's packing that here with these two utility irons. Thomas, I know you know a little bit about these clubs, but this is kind of the first time maybe testing them. Uh, what do you think we're gonna see out of this today? And what do you think of these two models so far? I'd say level level of forgiveness with each club. I think the DHY is gonna be a little more forgiving than the UDI. Yeah. For a better player that has a high swing speed, the UDI maybe might fly a little bit lower. So for example, I might expect to see this to fly a little bit lower today and maybe go a little bit straighter overall, especially when we've got this wind to deal with. Right. Now, if I was trying to carry the ball a little further, I may expect that DHY to maybe carry a little bit further as right. we're testing these clubs. Right, that's right. so the one thing to keep in mind here, Thomas, of course, when the testing, we try and make it you know, as unbiased and fair as possible. The shafts are a little different here, the stock shafts in these two models, so that'll change things a little bit, but how are we gonna um, you know, equate that into our conversation? Here? Yeah, so these are both the stock shafts that come with the DHY and, and UDI. Um, the Diamana, we're doing the stiff flex with both of them. These are what we currently have as, as our fitting components in, yep. in, in stock. These are bonded heads, so I can't switch these shafts out and right. test with the exact same shaft, but they are the stock stiff shafts. So okay. the Diamana 90 thump with the UDI is going to be just a little bit heavier compared to the Diamana 75 with the DHY. It's going to be a little, little bit lighter. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So that'll change a little bit maybe in the numbers. We'll see uh, maybe some swing speed or some uh, distance, whatever the case may be. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be an exciting one because we got, you know, 19 degrees with the DHY, we got 20 degrees with the UDI, so a little bit of a lot difference there. But um, overall, these clearly these things are built for distance when you look at them. Yeah, there's that speed foam in there. There's, a, with, at least with the DHY too, you can see that uh, center of gravity kind of low and deep in the head there to, to help out with that distance and that forgiveness. So this will be good. Uh, I love watching you smoke that golf ball. So uh, it'll be fun to see it here. I love hitting clubs like this. I mean, I'm playing a club very, very similar to this model right here. So I trust in driving irons. I want to make sure I'm hitting in the fairway and it's important for me to get in the fairway so I can make lots of birdies. Let's get after it. All right, Thomas, we got the Sim UDI and the Sim DHY. It looks like you got the DHY there. So this will be an interesting test. We got obviously some wind to deal with today. So uh, you know, we'll try to block that out as much as we can. We got the normalization button here with TrackMan that'll help us do that. So uh, you know, what do you know about these two models and what are you going to expect? Yeah, the two differences between the, them are the DHY is probably a little bit more forgiving, kind of a game improvement iron. I would expect this to maybe launch a little bit higher. I know the loft on this actually is one degree stronger yeah. than, the, than the UDI model is, but I still may expect this one to maybe go just a little bit higher overall than the UDI because the way it's designed yep. with the center of gravity may push back a little bit, yep. a little bit more easy to hit. The UDI I expect to be a little more penetrating bull flight. Sure, yep. sure. All right. Well, yeah, let's get to it here. Let's see what it got. Sounds good. Two left, two right. <laughs> They're out there. I mean, there's a couple that are absolutely smoked there, Thomas. That one hit solid too. There's yes. two that hit solid. Yeah, so that one uh, carried 242 and ended up at 263 total. Um, but first, I want to get your impression on the look and feel of that club. It's, I mean, it, it definitely doesn't look like an iron per se. It, yep. There's, there's uh, clearly a lot more going on with the club head shape, a little thicker. I mean, you can probably see a lot of the the back of the club sort of behind the club head there too. So um, what's your impression on that and also the feel? Yeah, so absolutely just what you just said. I can see a little bit more going on at the back because it is a larger model compared, compared to the two. Um, it felt, I mean, it's, it's a forged face with, uh, I think it's got a little extra stuff kind of added in here yeah. to help with regards to the gimmick and juiced up. Felt really solid with the face, a little clicky, like yeah. kind of clicky sound what I'd maybe expect out of a little more game improvement iron, but it, you know, it was very, very solid off the face. They had two left, two right. Notice spin rate on a couple of them just spun a little bit more than they yeah. may like out of a driving iron, but it was it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, there was, I think there was definitely like a kind of a, a thud, so to speak, with that club that is it's definitely 
it was more noisy than uh, maybe some other you know smaller club heads out of an iron which it's not really an iron it's a hybrid and a, an iron in one kind of that's a yeah. utility category that's becoming uh, so popular so uh, but yeah I mean that's that's pr- I mean it, it definitely it's kind of it's, it's explosive right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's explosive the forgiveness level on this club very very good so yeah. I feel like I could hit this thing pretty pretty often and pretty consistently going the distance that I want to go. I mean, you know, 149 smash on average, carrying over 230, total distance right there is 254.6, so you got some lofty good. numbers for the Sim UDI to beat. Yeah, that's going to be pretty hard to get this. This club is close. It may go a little lower, it may chase out a little more, but we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. That was four yep. with the Sim UDI. First impression for me, Thomas, looking at the dispersion over here, is the distance consistency of the UDI. That it's a very narrow oval there for a club that's going, you know, carrying over 220 and chasing out to 240, 250. So that's my first impression looking at it. Um, what is your first impression of the look and feel and kind of comparing that to the DHY that you just hit? Yeah. So I have actually played the. Uh, I still have the 2017 P790. Uh, in my bag, okay. and I play three iron as my driving iron. So this, comparison-wise, look-wise, it looks very, very similar to what I'm kind of look, used to looking down okay. at. I like the sleeker look of this. I feel like it's not going to get up in the air quite as much. With a driving iron, I'm trying to hit this thing as straight as I can. I'm trying to get this to chase out a little bit further there as well. Yeah. Especially on days like today when I'm hitting into the wind, I want to be able to keep that thing down. Yeah. I don't want to think that it kind of blew it up in the air. Right. So. And so, I mean, I, I think your point at the, you made at the end there about hitting, trying to keep it low a little bit, you might be doing that maybe subconsciously just because of the wind. I mean, because you're, your heights are down from 100. Now, again, you're hitting a 19 or a 20 degree here to 19 yep. degree utility iron there. So, uh, now we expected the Sim UDI to decrease in height. It was at 65.6 average. The DHY was 76.7. So, okay. so what is about 10 feet about, higher? Yeah, about yep. 10 feet higher. Yep. Spin is pretty similar, 3400 and 3500. Okay. Um, the smash factor for both is 149. So I mean that thing really pops off the club face for sure. Um, the only difference really seems to be just that height. You know, the extra height, um, obviously, with in a calm situation, is going to give that DHY a little bit more distance. Yeah, if it was firm out, this thing's going to chase out a little further. If right. it's softer out, the DHY is going to carry a little further and probably go a little bit further overall. Also, you got to think about coming to the green as well. I know we're hitting kind of off the T-ball right here. If you maybe second shot into a par 5, the DHY might help to get that thing to stop on the green a little faster as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Why don't we uh, solidify this data a little bit here with a few more shots and then we'll uh, break it down further. Sounds good. It sounded good too. I hit that one well. All right. Well, Thomas, you put some good swings on that uh, DHY there. That was there was a few of those that were absolutely smoked. Yeah, those last two swings I made, they definitely went pretty far. I mean, we were talking. You know, there's a couple out to the right, a couple out to the left. You got one right on the center line there. So, um, once again, now the you know, when you think of TaylorMade, you think of distance, right? And I think the Sim DHY kind of really packs it in there. Like you said, it's almost like they're supercharged P790s, right? Supercharged P790 with just a little bit more forgiveness. It's going to go far and straight. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Well, let's get four more with the Sim UDI here. Sounds good. All right, Thomas. That wraps up the Sim UDI. Um, one of the things I know you've mentioned before in some of our iron tests. Uh, and then talking about like players distance irons and which kind of applies to these as well is sometimes you get those jumpers maybe right with some of the iron the irons that are built for distance yep um i think you see a little bit of that here on this dispersion with the dhy a couple that just kind of jumped 
went a little bit further than expected versus the SIM UDI and that distance dispersion is a lot more consistent. And now, to clarify, these are driving utility irons, not as important, right? A lot of these shots are gonna be hit off the tee, uh, way more so than probably off the turf on the golf course. So, yep. but I think, you know, the distance consistency of that same UDI is the most impressive takeaway for me just looking at this, um, you know, first impression here. Yeah, I haven't seen the dispersion circle yet, but I could definitely notice when I'm hitting outside here, I got some poles that are kind of my target or my fairway. Yeah. This thing probably stayed within the pole seven or eight times out of eight times. Yeah. With the DHY, I feel like was curving a little bit more and maybe just going just kind of a little bit further offline a little bit there as well. Um, I know I hit some great shots with the DHY. This, I feel like I hit, well, I finished with like three or four really good swings with this one here that was yeah. that same line every single time. So I definitely could notice that. I felt like I could, could control this thing really well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you definitely had a very consistent flight as well with the UDI there. Um, looking at the numbers quickly here, your club speed is 97.1 and 98.1, so very similar there. Uh, the DHY, for, was that faster? Yeah, the DHY okay. is slightly faster. Uh, so the golf shaft, the stock golf shaft is 15 grams lighter. So that could hmm. be related to okay. that a little bit there as well. Okay, yep. okay, good to know. Yeah, because I think it's 75 and 90, 90. I believe, yep. so uh, yep. those stock shafts. So, I mean, these numbers are, I mean, you're hitting a three utility iron. If you can get these things out in the fairway 250 can, with that much consistency, that's you're going to be scoring pretty well. You don't even, might, might not even need the driver out there with you. Yeah, that's exactly it. Now, with these models, they offer a two all the way up, I think it's five or six even, yeah. with these as well. So depending on what distance you're trying to get it or what flight you're trying to achieve, you definitely can change things around a lot right. as well, too. Yeah, I think they go down to like 17 or 16 degrees in each uh, model, so that, yep. uh, you know, if you are trying to chase even more distance, maybe your ball flight is already kind of high off the tee with a utility iron, so to speak, and you really drop it down with a lower loft. But, uh, yeah, I, I will give this over to you now so you can actually see that dis dispersion <laughs> and then uh, give me some information for you. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the numbers in front of you. The SIM UDI and the SIM DHY, two utility irons from TaylorMade out in 2020. We got your look and feel impressions kind of already, but what do the numbers suggest about these clubs? Yeah, so we first talked about club speed just a little bit before. It was, the uh, DHY was one mile an hour faster. That could be related to that golf shaft just being kind of a little bit lighter. We hit yeah. eight with each one. Um, I would have thought that would be pretty close. I mean, we're talking 0.9, so it's not yeah. like it's a major amount there. Um, but the, essentially, the efficiency and the smash factor kind of made up for it. They're both, on average, were 1.50. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty impressive for a three iron utility club, essentially. It was doing what I wanted yeah. to do. It was, it was going kind of the right distance and everything there, too. So a little bit more ball speed because I was swinging a little bit faster with the DHY. But when you can, when you're take a look at the smash factor number and the efficiency, yeah. you see that both are very, very similar there. So interesting. I thought it was interesting that the UDI did spin just a little bit more than the DHY. My prediction was it was going to spin a little bit less. Yeah. But you got to keep in mind there is one degree of loft difference there. Yeah. So the DHY is 19 degrees of loft, I believe, yeah. where the UDI is 20 degrees. And we like to say you know, every degree essentially is going to give you maybe 200 RPMs more. So that's kind of the difference yeah. right there between between those there as well. Um, DHY carried a little bit further because it was flying a little bit higher. So it carried 234.4 versus the UDI at 227. Okay. Uh, we look at the height. I was the average height today was about 80 feet in the air with the um, DHY and about 72 feet in the air of the UDI. So that was okay. flying eight feet higher. Now we're also hitting up a hill here, so that's probably why we're not seeing this closer to maybe the 100 yeah. mark that we're looking at here. And also we brought up the fact that I'm also hitting into about a 20, yeah. at least 20 mile an hour wind right at now. Least. So um, that could be me intentionally just trying to, even though I'm trying to give normalization numbers as much as I can, Yeah. I'm, I am a robot, but I, I can definitely feel the wind, so I'm right. going to try and probably fly it down a little bit there too. Yeah. And I don't like to hit these clubs that high either. When I'm hitting them off the tee, I'm trying to control it. I want to keep, right. it, keep it down. And that's why I prefer the shape of the UDI. This is a little bit more than the DHY for what I'm trying to achieve right. with my game there as well. Yeah, I mean, I think these are, you know, driving irons, utility irons are becoming so popular because they're, you know, easy to control off the tee. And I think people are, you know, for there are bombers out there for sure. 
in the game, but they need something they can trust to go, in this case, 250 yards, for some it's 230 yards, whatever the case may be, get them in the fairway. That's what these utility irons have become so popular for, and that's why Taylor made releasing these two models. And we're seeing that some of the differences, at least in shape, and then I think you talked about the height, and then we can talk a little bit about, too, that dispersion distance, where a little bit more volatile with the DHY, I think, could be partly due to that larger club head and that maybe kind of deeper center of gravity. Yep, so I'm bringing up the dispersion map now. We can definitely see that the blue circle with the DHY covers a lot of the screen. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking here and this dispersion pattern was a little bit wider where we can see the uh, UDI was kind of doing the same thing every single time. Yeah. And that's the essentially something that I really want out of a golf club, especially off the tee, because I want to make sure I'm hitting the fairway so I can give myself chances to hit good wedge shots close yeah. to the hole and make more birdies. So I'm hitting out of the trees, it's going to be right. maybe a little bit harder for me there as well. Right. Out of the rocks, it's going to be harder for me to get the ball closer to the hole. So, there were a lot of nice, very straight shots with UDI. The DHY, now keep in mind the wind, when it does launch a little bit higher with the wind, it's going to then waver offline a little bit yeah. there as well. So that's why the dispersion pattern is just a little bit larger sure. with the uh, DHY. But it, you can you can see it's going further. Yeah. You, I've, got, I've got four shots with the DHY that carried over 235. It's pretty solid, right? Yep. I mean, we're talking about a three, well, a three iron utility club here, you know, and you're carrying it over 235 yards. That's going to put you in a good position off the tee, especially when your dispersion is pretty consistent and most of those are, are in the fairway. Yeah. So uh, that's your good placement off the tee. And if you are going to be going for the green um, from 240, 250, whatever the case is, um, and you want a little more height, that's where you maybe look at the DHY, right? Because that'll probably give you more stopping. Yeah. I thought it's interesting too. I'm looking at the UDI dispersion of the carry distance. I didn't have a single shot that carried over 235. So there's definitely some separation with regards to the carry distance between okay. the two of them. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Well, Thomas, this was some great information. Uh, you battled the wind pretty well there, and I know it's tough to put consistent swings on the golf ball when it's windy like this, but it's exactly what we did here today. We got the TaylorMade Sim UDI, the TaylorMade Sim DHY, two utility irons out in 2020. Great options for golfers out there. There's of course, these models are built uh, for great players, great ball strikers, also those that maybe need a little bit of help uh, from the club. So talk to your second swing uh, fitters, go into a store or call our team online, and uh, we'll get you set up with a new utility iron to fit your bag. Thomas, thanks again for everything. No problem.